I'm Sean O'Kane, and I'm in the Mercedes Smart Vision EQ. And if I get scared, here's my emergency cutoff. Oh God, here we go. Tell my family I love them. I'll be back from the future at some point. Okay, so it's uh, day four, day five of CES, and it's midnight, so that's why I'm having trouble figuring out what day it is, and we're about to head to the Las Vegas Strip because Mercedes wants to put us in the car that they think is going to be, what we're all gonna be riding in in 2030. The Smart Vision EQ was announced late last year at the Frankfurt Motor Show, and this was the first time that Mercedes has brought it to the United States. It was the kind of opportunity I didn't want to pass up to see this weird futuristic idea from one of the world's biggest and oldest automakers. It was pretty chaotic when we got there. Mercedes had shut down a whole section of Las Vegas Boulevard, had dozens of people coordinating the whole thing, and a ton of tourists were trying to snap photos or yell questions about just what exactly they were seeing. Uh, I should be clear, this is not driving itself like it is supposed to someday. There's literally a guy with a bunch of joysticks in a bag who's gonna be driving us down the strip. So uh, let's see how this goes. So here we go, we're moving. None of the stuff in here is like actually really working. I mean, the screen is lighting up and showing us like a demo, but like I'm touching it and it's not doing anything. It's not an actual touch screen. These are like speakers or cameras or lights or something, but I can't really tell. This is really just like a mock-up of what Mercedes thinks a self-driving car would be like in 2030. Something that you would order on your phone uh, and have come pick you up so that you can go out to wherever it is you want to go. And it's based off of the Smart 4.2, so, like, so an actual car that's on the road today, uh, which is why it might look a little bit similar to you if you've ever seen some of those uh, flashier, newer smart cars, but obviously redesigned with a whole bunch of future flair. You know, you've got these crazy blue lights, these doors that scissor up and down and sound like they're in a sci-fi movie. Uh, uh, we've got lights along the floor, a big screen on the front that says like Las Vegas Boulevard and like watch out and like all these things to sort of signal the pedestrians. We're obviously also not going very fast as you can see and everybody's taking pictures. We're just crawling along the strip. We're actually headed towards a parked truck right now. Oh, all right, we're stopped. Oh, now we're moving backwards. Uh, what's really funny is like there's this giant windshield that just like stretches from the front of the dashboard all the way to the back, which is cool because like we're on the Las Vegas Strip, we can see everything that's happening. Like there's Planet Hollywood, there's the Paris. Like that's still Planet Hollywood. I never knew Planet Hollywood was so big. All of this, the see-through design, the giant screen, has to do with how Mercedes thinks we'll one day use a fully self-driving car. And while some companies imagine them as workspaces or store experiences, the Smart Vision EQ is all about turning your car into a rolling smartphone ride, with things like your favorite entertainment or social media accounts available right in the dashboard. Now, maybe that's a good idea or not. I can tell you right now, though, that the idea of my Twitter feed scrolling by on the dashboard of a self-driving car is already giving me nightmares. Oh, there's a picture of a turtle, and it's got 203 likes. It has more. The turtle from the future has more likes than my Instagram posts. So we've gone back and forth down the street a couple times now, and so here's as much as I can tell you going 12 miles an hour in a remote-controlled version of this car. Uh, I get it, like I get what Mercedes is really trying to do here. You know, you, there's no steering wheel, there's no pedals. Uh, you hail the car, you hop in, you've got your smartphone apps connected, your social media, your entertainment, um, and you don't have to worry. You can just take it and enjoy the view. Uh, and that all sounds great, but there's so much more work to be done to get the technology, the automotive technology ready to get self-driving cars to this level that by the time we get there, by the time we get to 2030, so much more is gonna change that it's hard to say how close this really is to what we'll eventually be riding in. So it's nice that Mercedes is thinking about these things. Uh, it is sweet to see that they're willing to put this much work into making sure everybody knows that they're thinking about these things. Uh, but for right now, it's just another sort of stab in the dark at what our future of moving around looks like. So for more weird self-driving cars, electric cars, 
rideables, all the crazy stuff we've seen this week at CES 2018. Go to youtube.com slash The Verge and click subscribe. And while you're at it, go to theverge.com slash CES. Everything else we've done this week is there and so much more. Thanks for watching.